Join the fine oracle readings. Your host, Gypsy Lady Eva and Brother Chris, discuss spiritual topics and current events. And hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. Hope you guys had an awesome week. Eva, how was your week? Pretty decent. Uh, but then you guys have been sending us lots of smoke, so my throat has been a little bit... So if I start talking like this, you'll know why. <laughs> yeah, I was actually talking with one guy. Uh, he's down in Texas. Um, and it's funny, though, because the reason why he's like, how's the smoke up there? I hear Canada's <laughs> got a lot of fire, like a lot of fires. So I was like, not in our area. Area we're just outside Toronto, uh, Ontario, Canada. For those just wondering, and uh, I said, though, that's actually northern northern portion. I said we're we're basically down towards the state area. So mm. uh, we're I'm in you know I'm in Michigan, the tip of the thumb, yep. right there, and uh, we have had a constant haze. Second, third week, I'm not even really sure. Some days it's decent, and other days you don't want to go out because you wind up dogging like this. Yeah. Because your throat just kind of closes right up. Yeah, it's not good, though, at all. Those fires this year, they said that this year has been the worst, actually, for fires. I can believe it. On Turtle Island. Um, so, yeah. Um, again, though, let's hope everybody had a wonderful American, actually, birthday is it birthday over there or what yeah it would be birthday but we could just simply call it independence day or fourth of july okay with the fireworks yeah i just wasn't i wasn't sure exactly how to call it even though i've lived actually in florida i just called the american's birthday so. it's not the it's not a it's not a sparkler but yeah it's like that so so tonight though what we're going to be doing though um we're going to be talking about seven ways your spirit guide connects with you. Um, and these are really awesome things. Um, now, I know a large percentage of us, we do believe <clears throat> in spirit guides um, or even somebody that's actually helping us actually on our journey of life. But yeah, so that that's what we're going to be talking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. I'm it's... laughing because I keep thinking when I was taking my one class, the, there was someone in the, okay, it was me. I sat there and the, and the instructor says, what's the matter? And I said, well, I'm not making any connections. I keep getting a busy signal. <laughs> I'm about thrown out of the class. <laughs> that is comical. So, but yeah. So well, I, you have to have a sense of humor or you, like our, my one instructor always said, never be so spiritual. You're no earthly good. Yeah. That's Keep that in mind. Yeah. Yes, All right. sir. So I'm passing it over to Eva to start with tonight's discussion. And yeah. Well, first of all, uh, remember that spirit guide does always, oh dear, I just lost it. Um, uh, spirit guides, angels, however you wish to call them, will try and make contact with you. And sometimes uh, it's the gentle flutter of a butterfly wing, or in my case, because I told them, if you want my attention, you've got to use a two by four. And believe me, they have used two by fours. <laughs> Not quite literally, but <laughs> close enough. What I can picture from you is just, just standing there and also you, Two by four just comes along and starts swinging at you. <laughs> yes. You have what? Yeah. <laughs> you want me to do something again? <laughs> so, yes. That's what I was laughing about. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I was like, two by fours. But they will, there are, like I say, sometimes they're very subtle. Like, like I say, the flutter of a butterfly wing. And sometimes they're a little more, mm, less subtle. You can't miss it. And they will try and do this, but, and they're persistent and they will work with you. Like I told my guides, if you're going to want my attention, you've got to really do something. I'm not going to pay attention to the butterfly wings. And so there are certain things, excuse me, that uh, um, you will see them do. And one of the things that I, I, the first thing on the list was, Repeating numbers, and I have seen that more times, 11-11, yep. uh, 9, 9 or, you know, like 3-6-3. Three, three. 
Yeah. Yep. Even 369, that's another one that's, yep. whoa, they want my attention. Um, that's like a, numbers yep. are very, yeah. numbers are very important because they, there is, uh, our whole universe kind of is made up of numbers, if you think about it. And what better way than through numbers? Yep. And um, you will, if they want to get you, you'll, you, you'll see the number once, like, uh, and I just use this, 1111. And you don't pay any attention. You just say, oh, that's interesting. And, that, and you'll, see it a few, you'll see it a little bit later. 1111, 1111, 1111. And it's just on and on. And, and you're like, okay, okay, okay. So that's one way is the repeating numbers. And it, you will see it. And sometimes you will see it in the oddest places. Yeah, yeah. And it's, and it's so true, though. Like, how many times have you guys gone shopping? And seeing the numbers or even looking at the clock and seeing the numbers mm -hmm. right and 111 sorry not like sorry not 111 but 1111 basically um stands for you're with god angels are surrounded um matters li is actually through with the highest god god is and truth in order to bring love into the world is what 1111 stands for but yeah how many times have you guys gone shopping and actually seen 1111 or any other number that's repetitive to you that you don't really realize exactly what that stands for another um, no go ahead i i like to use this as an example because uh 22 has always been a number that has very meaningful to me and when they really want their atten my attention, I will see 22 or 22, 22 or 22, 22, 22, you know, bunches of twos together. And it's like, OK, what's up this time? And I'll go into my little trance and do my thing. And they usually come through. But, yeah, that's one thing that will happen. It'll be there. Yeah. And that one there for 22 basically stands for you are at a current point of your journey, which will help you understand the relationship and the spirit's assignments that will support your growth. Yes. So, so yeah, again, though, there are a lot of numbers. Another number, though, that actually comes up, though, is 212. Mm. All right. This is an important time for you to reflect on who you are and who you want to who you want to bring actually into your relationship. So yeah, that's a, that's another one. Though like that's actually coming up. So Yeah. I've never <laughs> seen that one, so. Eve is just over there quiet right now. <laughs> For a change. <laughs> so, well, compared to our one of our podcasts, was that's actually today. Um, now, Eve and I, we were majorly talking about about this one topic. We're not going to bring us on to this this podcast, but yeah, again, it was tune into one of the other podcasts, which was hate. We're not going to discuss much more, but yeah, tune into that one, and you'll hear even constantly chit chat, chit chat. So. <laughs> Well, that's something that's very near and dear, but we will leave that one alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you want me to do the next one? Yeah, so we're going to look at number two. Number two, hearing a high-pitched buzz. And uh, I have experienced that, but it's not one that I experienced an awful lot, but it is a very common one. And um, sometimes, this is interesting, sometimes you will actually hear it in your ear, and other times you hear the buzz, but you can't find it. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's out here someplace, but it's the angels or the guides or the spirits trying to make contact. And it's not physical, um, but it's something that you're, it's like a frequency you are picking up on consciously. And you kind of hear it and, but okay, where's it, you know, and you kind of look around, but there's nothing there. And uh, sometimes it precedes a message or even an epiphany. And they are, epiphanies are very strong and very, just prepare yourself. 
and um, it is a signal you need to pay attention to because uh, it'll happen like things will be put in front of your in your path and it's like you just got to kind of wait when you see the the, the little indicators you just got to wait for the message now that's not with now the buzz though is not like have any wax actually in your ear uh build up no, the wax no. right it's not like that um no. again though it's actually a higher frequency and some people think though that hey it's my jaw that's causing the problems with the ear but it's not um so sort of like what eva was just saying though that the energy which is actually your spirit guides are actually trying to give you a message um right sit down relax and basically try to figure it out or else they'll give you it right away if you actually ask for it um i know yes with, i know with us with this busy world though we usually don't know um what the messages are but take some time to root to relax so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at number three and then we're going to go for a quick break and we'll be back to finish actually off the last four uh, uh, and basically though this this next one though is as a white orb or light um, basically though is so that you're seeing directly with your own uh, vision um, is another great way uh, actually what I would say though more or less of that though um, I've actually experienced this but I've experienced it in a totally different way though that's written down is tunnel vision um uh, Sometimes, though, when, with our own eyes, though, we see a, like a wall, actually, a blockage. We can't see anything else. Well, we can see those. There's a tunnel of vision right straight ahead. And sometimes it bothers us. But it's basically our spirit guides actually standing in front of us. Um, again, it's sort of like the white light and or even the orb, though, that's actually trying to talk to us. They're trying to give us the right proper direction. Um, and that's happened to me quite a bit. So anything, though, that you would like to add on, on about number three yeah uh no i don't um uh, because you, you did cover it quite well it is um not and you don't necessarily have to see the orb it can be just of a, a, a light flash uh, or just a, uh kind of like a candle light the flame of a candle yeah. will be out there and and it's it's usually a peripheral visions peripheral vision sort of thing try saying that fast <laughs> so that's about all i did yeah yeah so again though it's basically though is even though it says actually as a white orb or light uh basically though is it could be a little flicker on the side spirit guides or even with the tunnel vision know that you're you've got everything blocked out but you're looking straight forward right yeah it might bother you but again though it's basically though is your spirit guides are actually in front of you talking to you. Um, again, those you have to meditate and relax. Now, meditation can be taken in different which ways, but again, those just relax. Let every let if you're if you want to learn a fast way, if things are bothering you, bounce them off you, and just focus actually on the message. All right, so we we'll, we'll be right back after this message. The paranormal can happen at any time, so that's why our Etsy store is always open. Get your paranormal items from cleansing, to protection, to attraction. All available now on our Etsy store. Search Haunting Live. Explore the Stratford Perth Museum with Trevor Bishop and Chris the Rock, both from Haunting Live Podcast and Divine Oracle Readings. They have been seen on national television shows and heard of on real stations throughout North America. This is your chance to explore this wonderful house and the haunting history that's within the building. September 10th, why not come out to the Stratford Perth Museum for the indigenous arts and craft market for celebration with the Cedar Hill Drumming Corps and dancers. This is absolutely free on September 10th from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. Another great podcast to listen to is Haunting Live Podcast with your host, Trevor, interviewing tons of people throughout the world. Listen to any of your podcast providers. 
be sure to check out our new website at hauntedlivepodcast.com. That's again, those check out hauntedlivepodcast.com. All right, so we're back and yeah, again, those what we're doing those right now, we're looking actually at seven ways your spirit guides actually communicate with you. Uh, the first one was actually through repetitive numbers, actually, uh, though, that you keep on seeing. Next one, though, uh, what was number two again, Eva? Uh, the high pitch buzz. Yeah. And, and then the, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> the third one was the white light, a white orb or light. Yeah. All right. And that, that's a neat one. Yeah. So we're going to number four now. Oh, excuse me. Through single word commands. That one is one it will, and you will hear it, and it will be very clear. Um, the gentleman who wrote or who person who wrote that said they were going to take a different route home uh, from work or apparently or whatever, and all of a sudden they heard no. Well, uh, the bridge that they have to cross had to cross to get home was blocked. They should have listened. And uh, like they said, they ended it by saying, needless to say, I will never ignore these messages anymore. And I have had that happen more than once. And it's just like, it's more than just hearing the word. It's also this deep feeling. And I can't explain it other than that. Like, don't do that. Or, well, don't. Uh, stay. Uh, just simple words like that, and but there's a command in it, and you feel it deeply, and you just do what it says because there's a reason. And um, on more than one occasion, I I would be driving and I was told turn here, like this is the long way home, and it's like it was so persistent. So I turned and come to find out there was a really bad accident that I would have been a part of. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, and when it has to, when they have to, they will be verbal. Yeah. Um, some people might be thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean by that? Um, basically, those you can actually get the messages come, speaking actually in your ear or even actually coming to you within your mind. Um, it might <laughs> sound like you. It might not sound like you, um, but still it's it's there directly. Um, so again, those, your guides are trying to talk to you and direct you within the right way. So number five though, is through dreams. This happens to me quite a bit, um, for me being a spiritual medium, um, and it does speak to me quite a bit. Whenever I'll sort of give an example, um, uh, whenever I'm actually sleeping though, messages come to me, um, about certain things. So that's going to happen actually down the road. Now, some things so um, actually do come true, right? But mm -hmm. it's basically though, is basically in, through your dreams, the messages are coming to you directly. Um, now, what I mean by that though is actually again those three, what's happened to me. Um, there's times so I will speak to uh, my partner um, of life, and I'll say, hey, yeah, this is what I actually had a dream of. Right. And, and I think, okay, at times it doesn't come true. Because usually, whenever I tell them about certain dreams, they don't come true. But later on down the road, that they do. Um, but the messages are coming through loud and clear, but they're put in a different way so that we, you can actually understand the way though that they are. Um, and that's the best way I do. <laughs> so, what would you say? I agree with you. Um, come on. Hang on just a second. I'm having trouble here. It could be actually the spirit guides trying to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, that could be. There we go. No, it's called, stu you know, not paying attention to what you were doing. Um, I used to get very dis defining messages in my dreams that would uh, help me along the way. But as I have gotten older, uh, the connection doesn't seem to be there anymore. I can't remember my dreams. And what I do remember, there, there's nothing there. But 
one of the things that they suggest in this article is to keep a dream journal and you will see uh reoccurring images in the dream or reoccurring people in the dream uh and even reoccurring animals uh one of the things that i always had was a little black terrier type dog that would come to me and that was one of the ones that would always have a message for me so yes they do come to you through the dream oh. Oh. and number six Okay, just a second here. Eve is over there. Eve is over there just playing some games. <laughs> no, I just somebody sent me a message. Uh, uh calling your name. Uh, oh, I've had that happen many times. Uh, you will hear somebody and it's very plain, very auditory and you hear your name, like in my case Eva and I'll you know like and there's no one there. And um it says here, sometimes it'll be accompanied by a warm presence, a brush on the arm or leg or kind of a nudge on my shoulder. Uh, it, They will let you know one way or the other. And uh, I've had that happen more than once. Uh, in fact, a lot of times. And uh, it's always uh, amazing because uh, it's like, you know, there is a connection there and you don't expect it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what I was getting actually from that though, right when you were re just reading about number six, um, I was also getting to do with your leg. Oh. All right. All right. Um, now basically though is what you're saying about actually the brush and all, all that. Do you ever feel the brush against your injured leg? Um, and do you feel them talking to you that way? No. No, okay. No. Okay. All right. Because right. um, that's what was just coming to me. So. Uh, well, no, I shouldn't say that. Uh, the brush against the leg is one thing, but I think I periodically get this burning sensation, and that may be a connection. Yeah. I'll have to pay more attention. <laughs> That's like awesome. Yeah. And then number seven, though, what this is the final one, though, what we're looking at, though, is actually through other people. Um, have you ever talked to people without even, well, you sort of know them. You don't know their full situation, what they're going actually on mm -hmm. either, and certain things. Um, they're not giving you information, but you're picking up the information right away. You're tapping actually into their life um one great example though is basically though is whenever you're whenever you're finding it whenever you're talking to somebody and you're saying hey what about this mm -hmm. this will help you and the person's like hey i never told you about this mm -hmm. how did you know did such and such person tell you and you turn around and you say no i just had this urge to let you know about this problem or this matter Right, and it's a, it's really cool though because you're so much because it's not you really talking though. It's actually their spirit guide coming through you to let them know the proper way how to do it. Right, you're kind yes, of just, you're kind of exactly. stepping you're kind of stepping back, but you're letting their spirit guide to come through first. Yep. So, yeah. Yep, I've had that happen also. So I and, feel like as I was reading through it, ding. Ding, ding, yep, yep, yep. It's like I've kind of experienced all of them, um, some more than others. And this one through the other people. When I do readings, that'll happen. I'll look at someone and say, uh, in fact, I, I remember the one. I looked at them and I said, when was the last time you were at the doctor to have um, tests done on, on, your, on different things? And I said, in particular, and I laid, left, you know, listed a couple of things. And they said, well, um, uh, um, and about two months later, they came back to another uh, psychic fair that I was doing. And they came to my desk or my table and they said, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, had they waited any longer, they would have had a very serious uh, 
uh, diabetic reaction to something. They were extremely, they had gone extremely diabetic and they didn't even know it. So, you know, I pick up on these things, when, especially when I'm doing readings, but I have on other occasions, uh, I had the same thing happen when I'm just sitting, like the one time I was sitting in the airport and this woman just kind of chit-chatting and I looked at her and I knew she had had cancer and I knew it was a, a breast that had been removed and sure enough, she started talking and it was like, oh my, I guess I am psychic. So, <laughs> Or they're speaking to me, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there are different ways to let your spirit guide actually communicates with you. Um what we're going to be doing those pretty soon those we're going to be talking about uh, basically though is meet your angels um and that's this is going to be a one-on-one so that's another show that you that's really good to tune into um so some of the stuff that we discussed tonight are actually in this um uh, information that we're going to be talking about that's within one of our shows coming up up and uh yeah i know i said up up i know i said that uh but yeah so there are a lot of great ways so again though it's basically though, it's seven ways though that your spirit guides communicate with you uh, hopefully some of the stuff actually did pop in your head and they'll let you guys are starting to pay attention to again those check out our spotify um subscribe and we're gonna be live actually i think i've got it for wednesday night so now that we've got got you guys actually for the spotify and thursday nights now for youtube so all right you guys have a wonderful summer and um anything else you have to say eva uh no uh I'll, the only thing i'd like to say is i would like to thank everyone for the pleasure of their time the privilege of their time and to have a great week yeah so you guys have an awesome one we'll talk to you guys later You could have listened to the radio. You could have spun some vinyl. You could have played a cassette tape. But do you listen to this Divine Oracle Readings on Unique Spotify? Another great podcast to listen to is Haunting Live Podcast with your host Trevor, interviewing tons of people throughout the world. Listen to underneath any of your podcast providers.